Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing really well. So this is going to be my March count up video. So I go through all my singing fun, savings challenges, and we count up how much we've saved throughout the month of March. Which oh my god, I cannot believe it's nearly April as I'm filming this. Like this year has just flown by, and I feel like I've done absolutely nothing. But let's just get straight into the video. So, shock horror, I've actually changed my setup a little bit since you guys would have last seen it. Let's move the out of the way a little bit. Um, so this binder is now my sort of, I think I'm going to call it like the big eight or something. Um, my big eight savings goals. So we'll go through those together in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to count the cash, count the money. <laughs> Uh, I feel like every time I film this, I never have enough enough room to do everything. Right. Is that okay there? Right, so, Australia. So we've got 1,100 in the bank and 20, 40, 60. So, 1,160. This is like where I forget how to write. <laughs> and I've put my trackers back in there. I just realised I didn't have them back in there so got my trackers back in there and yeah so I've swapped it to savings and then sinking funds so my savings is basically money that I'm only going to use once or like they're like longer term savings my sinking funds are funds that I'm going to dip in and out of probably throughout the year um so that's Australia so my emergency fund is fully funded with five thousand pounds now Last time you would have seen, I had, I think about 4,200 or something in my emergency fund. So my house deposit, I maxed out my lifetime ISA. So then I had a savings account for the house deposit to transfer over. Might have been a bad idea, I don't know, but I took the money from the savings account from the house deposit and put it in my emergency fund to fully fund it because I feel like I have such big goals in this binder and I don't want to have to focus on like eight things at the same time. And I mean, so I've only got one out of the way, but... I mean, it's one less thing to worry about, I guess. So my emergency fund is fully funded with £5,000. First home. So I'm looking at buying my first home in the next two to four years. Don't really know how it's going to pan out. I always change my mind. Um, we've got 1,500, 720, 40, 60. So £1,760. And this is basically going to be for anything that's not the house deposit i think i'm just going to keep it all in one fund keep it simple um but yeah we'll see future we've got 130 pounds so this is going to be for things that future me will thank me for having money for so like wedding having kids so it is really like really in the future um but i just wanted to have a little bit of money set aside i've actually started investing it can't say i understand what i'm doing so there's only a little bit of money in there, but my boyfriend understands it. He helps me. My dad gets it, so he'll help me if I need it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of money in there. House deposit. So I actually got my bonus for this month, for this morning. So now it is fully maxed out. Um, so we've got 10,516. So I don't know if you guys can see this. So I had 11,467 took out 986 to fully fund my emergency fund which i'm not mad about because it's just one less thing to worry about now isn't it um so i've popped my month ahead back in here so this is gonna i mean obviously if i need it now then i will use it but this is gonna be for once i move out i want to be a month ahead so we've got 35 pounds in here so it's a long-term savings for when i move out I mean, I say month ahead, it would be great to have like six months of expenses. But I mean, I don't know how much that's going to be, but I would probably like to have a maybe five grand in here as well to like match the emergency fund. So then I basically have a £10,000 emergency fund overall. But it's not a massive priority, but it is. Parents, we've got 1,120. So 1,120. I don't know if I'm too like zoomed out if you guys can see this let me know what you think of the setup as well i feel like it's very basic and i really want to get to two thousand pounds by the end of the year in this but 
I think I might film another video after this um, of redoing my 2024 goals. Um, savings has got 1,600. Um, yeah, of like redoing my 2024 goals. Just because I've deleted all my ones, obviously, but I don't have the same goals that I had like what, three months ago, which is crazy, but I just don't. So let's give a count up to this binder. So we've got 1,160. Hopefully I do it right this time. That's 5,000 plus 1760 plus 130 plus 10,516 plus 35 plus 1120 and plus 1600. So that's. Oh my god, that's actually crazy. £21,321. I feel like that's not right. <laughs> I have a rough idea of what I should have at the end of this, so we'll see. So let's move into my sink and fun binder. So, oh god, this is just a mess. This is basically everything that I have plans for to spend. Um, God, my chair is really uncomfy. Um, yeah, like plans for to spend, I guess, over the next sort of year or so. So, hopefully you guys can see this. So, beauty. I'm actually, well, I think I'm going to get my nails done on Friday. Don't know when this is going to go up. So, hopefully for the next couple of videos, I'll have some nice nails because they're not looking great. We've got £160 in beauty. Yeah, that'd be nice. I feel like I was doing them at home, but I keep seeing that you can like ruin your nails and you can get allergic reactions and stuff. Birthdays 155, so you might have noticed I've added a few old categories back in. I just feel like where I had them all sort of combined, I wasn't actually saving because I thought, oh, well, I've got the money, but I don't have the money. Christmas has got 500 pounds, so if you haven't seen my cash dents in for March, then I unstuffed my iris binder, so we've got the first £500 in here, which is amazing. Clothes, we've got 50, 60, 65, 70. £70 pounds in clothes. Concerts, we've got 220, 35. I feel like I'm coming down with a horrible cold. And I don't know how because I've literally not been anywhere. Events is fully funded with 100. This is for Father's Day. Um, and then I don't think I have anything until next year, until Valentine's Day. I'm sure there's nothing that happens. Obviously, Christmas by the separate envelope for that. I'm sure there's nothing that I celebrate from Father's Day to Christmas. £520 in health. And this is sort of just saving up for any appointments, whether that's hospital, opticians, dentist, etc. Holidays. I love this tracker from Cash Q. Got 1,000, 2,000, 2,250. I really need to book something because, oh my god, that is so unlike me to not have a holiday booked. But I'm just, I don't know. Got £20 in medication. Um, occasions, we've got 500, 600, 650, 670, 690 in occasions. This is for my friend's wedding next year, um, but it's abroad, so we have to pay. I just said that really weird. It's abroad. What did I just say? Um, but we've got to pay for like flights, accommodation, etc. Social's got £200 in the bank. Oh god, I'm trying to take the camera off. Um, spending has got 110. I found a necklace that I really like, and I really don't need any more jewellery, but it's really pretty, but it's out of stock, so might save up for that. Subscriptions has just got 20. And technology has got 20, 40, 50. And yeah, I feel like this is everything that I currently need to save for, so. I mean, like, I don't drive, I still live at home, so I don't have any of the, like, big expenses that some of you guys might have, but we'll see. So, let's give that a counter. God, this man is annoying. <laughs> so, we've got 
160 in beauty, 155 in birthdays, 500 in Christmas, 70 in clothes, 235 in concerts, 100 in events, 520 in health, 2,250 in holidays, 20 in medication, 690 in occasions, 200 in social, 110 in spending, 20 in subscriptions and 50 in technology. Oh my god, we've got over £5,000 in our sinking funds. That's insane. That's crazy. I'm really, really chuffed with that. But obviously this is money that like, will get spent. I mean, all of this will get spent at some point, but yeah. I hope it makes sense the way that I've sort of separated them. It does to me anyway. I guess that's what that is. So last but not least, we've got our savings challenges. So we've got the 50 envelope challenge. Which I am happy with the progress we are making on this. So we've got 200, 400 pound in the bank, and then 10, 70, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 525 pounds in the 50 and weight challenge, which is amazing. Part of me wishes that I did this actual 50 and right style and like all the pretty envelopes and stuff which i do have but like i'm not using them because it just it seems like a lot of money to have sat there but obviously if you're doing the 50 envelope challenge do what works for you um monthly savings 100 in the bank and 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 155 in monthly savings The 2024 challenge I've got in my smash pot, so can't count the cash. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 180. And then I've added this scratch and save challenge. I'll just show you quickly from Budget with D. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I have it at £15, but we've got £10 in here for now. Because I wanted my 2024 challenges to add up to £2,500. Um, so it's literally just over, I think. Let's just do the math. So we've got 1275, 500, 480, and 250. 2505 pounds. So literally just over. So that's fine. And then the pound challenge. This is from Kimberly Budget, so I'm just obsessed. It's so pretty. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 13 pounds. I might as well count them, otherwise I won't spend them. And then 50 please, we've just got two pounds. So that is my challenges all done. So let's add these up. It's got 525 plus 155 plus 180 plus 10 plus 13 plus 2 is 885 pounds. Which is amazing for challenges, like that's insane. So, but shall we see what we've got in total? So, we've got £21,321 in my savings, £5,080 in my sinking funds, and 885 in my challenges. Jesus Christ. So, we've got £27,286. Wow, is that right? What did we have last month? I think I did it wrong last month. I think I was at a couple of hundred pounds out, but let's write that down on here. So twenty seven thousand two hundred and eighty six pounds. Don't know why the pen stopped working. Let's minus twenty six thousand and eighty. Which means we've saved a total of £1,206 this month, which is just in, like, insane. And like, to be fair, some of the money, like, is going to get spent. So like, birthdays and like, what else do I have that's coming up? Holidays, if I book anything. Some of this money will get spent, but 
I'm really, really happy with this money and savings because that is like longer term savings. But that's just crazy. £27,286. But yeah, I do still live at home. I don't drive. I don't have any like responsibilities, like kids and a house and things like that. So that is why I'm able to save a little bit more. But I'm just really, really chuffed with that. And I feel like it just goes to show that the cash stuffing really does like work. And in some of these envelopes, like clothes, for example, um, occasions I've only been putting a little bit of money in, birthdays, little amounts little and often do add up so if you're thinking of trying this cash stuff method definitely definitely do try it i guess and see if it works for you but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you shortly with another video thanks for watching guys